Hello and welcome. I'm Reverend Carol, Unity Church of Austin. The power of love and faith. I want to share this quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Use me, God. Show me how to take who I am, who I want to be, and what I can do, and use it for a purpose greater than myself. You know, this week we honor Dr. Robin, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and his ongoing legacy through the various celebrations with an emphasis on service. In his first meeting address, King explained that we are here in a general sense because first and foremost, we are American citizens and we are determined to acquire our citizenship to the fullness of its meaning. We are also here because of our deep belief that democracy transformed from the paper to thick action is the greatest form of government on earth. And King continued his speech saying that love was to be the regulating ideal and to love your enemies was a call not to reward wrongdoing but to expose wrongdoing, overcome evil, and dispel hatred by doing good and behaving with kindness. And he made it clear if they failed to follow these practices, their efforts would be futile and meaningless. You know, Dr. King spoke powerful words because they came from a place of power, an internal power of love and faith that were more than just principles to speak about, but actions to live out. And it's not always easy to go down that road where faith is led by love. Yet knowing it is a road that I do not travel alone, that none of us travel alone, strengthens me. Yes, I'm speaking of the one power within each one of us that is bigger, th bigger than anything in this world. And I speak to the power of community. When love is the regulating ideal of any community, whether it's your family and friend community, your spiritual community, or the wider community, of our cities and nation, there is nothing that our faith and love and good cannot overcome when lived out. During this week of service, how are you living out your powers of faith and love? Remember that even a small pebble can make large ripples in the water. Have a blessed week.